I would like to welcome you to a series of videos that demonstrate the use of the LIGHTS microscope. In the first video, I will go through the various components of the microscope and explain what they do. In the second video, I will demonstrate how to set up the microscope for Kohler illumination. And in the third video, I will describe the technique of oil immersion. In this first video, I am simply going to define the various components of the LIGHTS microscope as shown in this figure. I will begin at the top and work my way down. First, we have the two ocular lenses, which as the name implies, are the lenses closest to your eyes. Typically, these have a 10x magnification and contain a wire pointer. They can be adjusted for each individual's requirements. In particular, you can adjust the intraocular distance and you can fine-tune the focus by rotating the lenses. Next, we have the objective lenses, which as you might guess are the lenses that are next to the object that you are viewing. For these microscopes, the four objective lenses have magnifications of 4x, 10x, 40x, and 100x, and this last lens requires oil immersion. Of course, the final magnification is going to be 10 times these values when you include the 10x objective lenses. Then we have the stage control, with which you can move the slide around. As an aside, pathologists who may be looking at scores a slide a day often remove this assembly and simply move the slides around on the stage by hand. However, as beginners, I believe that you will find the stage control to be useful. Next is the extra condenser lens, which is located below the stage and on top of the condenser. Now it is important to note that this lens comes into play when using objective lenses of 10x and higher, but not for the 4x lens. If you try to use the 10x objective lens without the extra condenser lens, then the image will be blurry. And if you don't remove it for the 4x objective lens, then your field of view will be greatly diminished. This slide shows how the extra condenser lens should be set up for different types of objective lenses. The photo on the left shows the correct position of the extra condenser lens when using the 4x objective lens. And the photo on the right shows how the extra condenser lens should be rotated into position when using a 10x or higher objective lens. Please remember this. Below this on the condenser are the centering screws. These are used to center the beam of light through the condenser. You will probably not have to use these since your microscopes are already adjusted. Near the bottom of the condenser you will find an armature, that is the condenser diaphragm. This regulates the amount of light passing through the condenser and controls the depth of field, that is, what is in focus at any one particular time. This is very important for obtaining optimal resolution. On the very bottom of the condenser is the vertical condenser adjustment. This moves the entire condenser assembly up and down so that it is in focus. Again, this is important for obtaining optimal resolution. On the side of the microscope is the focus knob, which alters the distance between the objective lens and the slide. This is the adjustment that you will be using the most. On the bottom of the microscope, you will find the light source that contains a light diaphragm, not to be confused with the condenser diaphragm. This can be opened and closed by rotating the outer ring. This regulates the amount of light going into the condenser. And finally, we have the light switch, which both turns on the light and regulates its intensity depending upon how far it's turned. Now, I recommend that you turn the light on to its maximum intensity. The reason is that the spectrum obtained from the light bulb is a function of the temperature of the filament. If it is not turned up all the way, then you get more yellow in the spectrum and less blue. This is important for when you take photographs. 
Now I recommend that you continue on to the next video.